Hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box, okay? I'm sending y'all the Venice of Peace, Seven, like always. I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed week. And may Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe always, all days. Okay, let's start. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, peace come down and protect me. Peace come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. Y'all have messages. And please come down and protect the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Taurus. <laughs> the cards wanted to pop out. What is going on? Let's see. What does Taurus need to know? Okay, you guys can have water in your birth chart. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, you guys could be connecting to a water sign at this time. This is an amino. You guys are definitely connecting to your emotions and your feelings. Water energy. You guys are like in it. Okay? You're feeling it. You're, you're in the depths of it. And it's good. Okay? You, you connecting to your feelings and emotions means that you are connecting to your intuition. Okay? Intuition is, is that feeling. You know? So it's 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 a very prevalent time for you to listen and to go with the flow of things. This is also like patience energy. Okay, taking your time with things, okay? It's also um, remembering. It's like when you block water off, water always been, is always going to try to find another crevice to get through. Water is constantly moving. It's constantly flowing. So it doesn't matter if you see stagnation or things not really going the way that you want it to go. Things are always still moving, okay? Things are always still moving forward, yeah. This is um, definitely a renewal energy within you guys. Like, literally... <laughs> There is a spiritual transformation. There's an awakening that's taking place, and it's happening on a deep level. You guys have rebirth energy here. And I don't even remember what other sign got this card. I don't remember, y'all. <laughs> but this is definitely Scorpio energy, because I would say go watch that reading, because that probably is a message for you in there. But in regards to this rebirth energy, there's a new start that's happening here. This is a brand new beginning, and it's important for you to listen to your intuition. It literally is important for you to not only listen, but also to trust it. There's an ending here with the number 13. Something is no more. Something is coming to an end, a finale. This ending is meant to bring in a brand new start for you. It's meant to bring in a brand new beginning for you. There you go, Taurus. Oh, my gosh. Look at you and your energy. <laughs> you are so beautiful. You are so handsome. You are so royal. You're regal. This is your divinity shining. This is God shining his light through you. This is you embodying that beauty, that aura, that essence, that je ne sais quoi, okay? The empress, you are dead. You guys could be pregnant, okay? <laughs> Fertile, getting ready to have a child. I'm seeing here you guys could have a newborn child. You guys could be a teacher of children with the empress card being here. There could be a deep connection that you have with children. I'm seeing here you guys could be adorning yourself with bracelets. Oh, my gosh. This lady's bracelet looks like my bracelet. <laughs> look at the picture y'all look at that and now look at this <laughs> and i knew it was a reason why i kept like something could like i don't know i'm seeing it now you guys could wear bracelets or it could be something about evil eye being returned to sender and your energy because of how powerful you are your protection, you have a, a protection energy around you because you're working out of your authentic energy. The empress is someone who has mastered themselves. So it's like people cannot come up against the empress and say, oh, you're this, you're that. The empress has already done the shadow work. The empress is healing. The empress is, or the emperor is working on themselves, okay? They've gotten to a place of their life where they are happy. They are satisfied. They are content. They know God's will over their life. They know God's power over their life, and they're embracing it with the Empress. 133 could be significant as well. 33 could be significant. Somebody could be 33 years old, okay? March could be significant, the 13th, the 3rd, or the 6th, even June. Gemini energy is here. Libra is also here. This new chapter, is it has to do with your self-worth. Your confidence, you believing in yourself, 
the power that you hold. This new beginning is all about, it's going to be what you are attracting towards you by believing in yourself, by the energy that you are embodying. Yeah, you don't need to have any type of fear, Taurus, because things are working out for the betterment of you. You're also getting ready to mirror someone. This is you coming in contact with someone. You guys could be in a divine relationship at this time or getting ready to be. You're mirroring someone's energy. Who had this? Libra. Definitely. Libra had this energy <laughs> in, my, in the horoscopes. You guys need to check out that Libra reading, or you guys could definitely be connected to Libra. Okay, definitely. So Libra could be highly aspected, either in your energy, with a person, um, in, in your birth chart. <sighs> Libra energy and Scorpio energy with this rebirth here. Things could have even happened around, like, um, Libra season and uh, Scorpio season. For some of you guys, like there could have been major changes where you needed to like close out doors, open up, like start on a new path, start on a new beginning. Things could have like happened around this time. Okay. Yeah. There's a new start that's here. The full, this is a new, a new, um, a new beginning. You taking a leap of faith with that full card and you trusting in God. It's something about you guys like really letting go of fear because it's, it's the fool is about you not knowing your next steps fully. Like you not knowing where God is taking you. You just know that God is not going to lead you in the wrong direction. Like You know that God is going to like keep leading you forward. It's going to keep like pushing you past like obstacles, even though it could be a little mountainous, the terrain. It's something about you guys like needing to have faith. Faith over fear. Like, that's what I'm hearing. It's something about you guys needing to have faith that things are going to work out because they are. What does Taurus need to know? Yeah, there's equal give and take coming in with the Six of Pentacles. This is your energy. You guys could even be in a place where you guys could be giving. Someone's love language could be gift giving with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to give you a gift. You guys could be wanting to give a gift. This could be you exchanging energy with different with different people. All I'm going to say is, you better bet on you. Like, that's all I'm going to keep saying. You better bet on you and you better keep betting on God. There's a leap of faith that you are being literally guided to take. You're being guided at this time. The fool is a new start. It's a leap of faith. It's a new beginning. Okay? Don't even let these distractions around you because I see this dog is trying to, like, distract this person. Or, like, there could even be certain warning signs that you guys could be ignoring. And it could be about people that could be distractive to you. You're also getting ready to meet someone that's very loyal. Dogs also symbolize loyalty. You're getting ready to meet someone that's very loyal on your path. And it seems like right now on the path, you guys could be by yourself with the fool or having to do things by yourself, having to disconnect, having to just do things solo, dolo, just you and God. But that doesn't mean you're going to be alone. Like, I'm seeing here, like, that doesn't mean you're going to be lonely. You're getting ready to come in contact with someone. You guys keep me getting a pet, but I'm picking up on the energy where you're going to be meeting someone who's going to be taking this leap of faith just like you. It's like the dog is about to jump off, too. You're going to be meeting someone just as loyal as you. Yeah, judgment. It could be a Scorpio. It could be an Aquarius. And look at the death card with the Scorpio energy popping out. That's 13 again. 13 is definitely significant for you guys, too. With the judgment being here, there's a final decision that needs to be made. This is an awakening. This is a spiritual awakening. This is you, you know, embracing God's call over your life. Judgment card is all about a wake-up call, all about transformations, all about changes, all about learning from the past and not repeating the past. This could also be someone from your past that could be wanting to return back to your life that you could have already made it a final decision on. Okay, with the judgment card being here as well. There's a relationship that's coming towards you, though. This is a divine relationship, okay? You guys could definitely be taking a leap of faith. This could even be towards a past person for some of you, or this is towards, like, a renewal, a new beginning, a new start. And on this path, you're going to be coming in contact with your one, the one. It's about getting on your path, though, with judgment. What's this judgment about? Yeah, the king of cups. Becoming emotionally grounded, becoming stable. It's a lot of water energy around you. You guys have a lot of water energy. Like a lot of water in your energy at this time. A lot of water. Look at this. You guys got Judgment, King of Cups, and the Two of Cups. It's a lot of water. You guys could be talking to a water sign, or you're just really like reflecting over your emotions and your feelings. The King of Cups is someone that's very logical in regards to life. 
in regards to love. They don't just commit to things that they know are not going to align with them or they know that isn't serving them in their highest good. They're not going to do that. The King of Cups is very stable. They're very grounded. They're not needy. They're not codependent, male or female. This is not you like chasing after love either. This is you letting it come to you. You embracing it on your path, on your journey with the King of Cups. There's someone that is extremely stressed out right now. Okay, and it could be because you're getting ready to meet your partner with the Queen of Cups being here. Wow. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, though. What is this Nine of Swords about? It could be a Virgo, an Air, another an Aries, or another Taurus. This is someone that could be in their their masculine energy, even. Someone here was trying to like manifest you to be stressed out and for you to not embrace your partner. Someone who's equally balanced, yoked like you. You guys could definitely be connecting to a water sign or even a Virgo. Aquarius is here too. What's this magician about? Somebody here, yeah, whatever they were manifesting, it's like God is, is showing you it. So, yeah, the, the sun and the ace of cups so that you can embrace in this love offer. You guys could even be manifesting in love. I could be talking to someone who's in a place of depression and or sadness even. And God is getting ready to bring you someone who's going to love you immensely, but it starts with you taking the necessary steps to love you first. What's the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups? Someone from your past. There could have been someone from your past that could have been trying to manifest, like, hooking up with you. This could have been someone that wanted to be your partner with the Queen of Cups. You may have a child with an individual that also symbolizes, like, a... You know, people that have children, the, the Queen of Cups is usually like a, a child's mother sometimes within the energy. There could be someone that is like stressed out from your past with the Six of Cups. They were There were things that they were manifesting. I, I'm picking up on the energy of someone wanted to be your partner. They wanted to be your partner, but God is like, no, your partner is coming in. And I'm going to show you who your true partner is. It's something about, but this Nine of Swords is like sticking out at me. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person did not want you to know this. They wanted to keep you, like, in their home or keep you in, like, a relationship with them. The eight of swords, this person is stressed. They could have thought that you were going to choose them or they could have, and they need to choose themselves. Or they could have, like, thought that, like, you guys were going to, like, build to a divine relationship. But you have, your you, in the spiritual realm, you're already committed to someone. You're already, like, God has already is bringing you your person or has already brought you your partner yet yeah, with the page of pentacles. And it's meant to be very successful. It's meant to be extremely successful. This could even be a message coming in. You guys could be sending a message. Someone could be sending you a message. You're getting ready to find out who this person is if you don't know this energy already. But there is someone that is like from your past with the six of cups that had plans. The three of wands. What were these plans? Someone here had plans to change up things to change up the, the path of where you guys were headed with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone here had, yeah, but you guys overcame it and you left it, like you left it alone. Someone here wanted to change up, like literally God's direction for your life, the Wheel of Fortune. You have so much beautiful energy that's coming in and that's around you. It's literally about you like staying away from distractions and people that you could feel don't want you to receive like love don't want you to have real love or for you to be in a real relationship it's time to stay away from those people because the sun is heavenly heavenly divine protection heavenly guidance love prosperity blessings abundance in all aspects and you have the ace of cups already here and it is protected it's protected with the seven of wands. It's something about you standing your ground, you standing up for yourself, you blocking out things that just do not align with you. And it's like you have the you have the strength of Father God within you. Because something is gonna something was like gonna bring you to your breaking point with the ten of wands, or it was literally gonna push you to the end. Yeah, the death the the devil card. Something was gonna push you to like ooh. You were dealing with a very toxic energy that was determined to make you to sur surrender, determined to get you to listen, determined to get you to, like, submit. You're dealing with something very toxic, and God is getting ready to, like, bring you towards true love, true happiness, a divine connection that's really protected, one that you're going to recognize by working out of your heart chakra. All right. I hope this – oh, I'm not going to end it with the devil card. Let's see. Anything else? Yeah. The devil's upset because <laughs> there is a breakup. There is a betrayal. There is cheating. There is some type of renewal that's getting ready to take place, and the truth is coming out. 
the truth is getting ready to come out and it is going to cause a breakup. Yeah, because you're going to reject something. You're rejecting it. And I see you taking action to really like question like, you know, whether or not things like if, if it doesn't make you feel good, it's like mm -mm, you're not taking action towards it any longer. You have faith that's coming in. There's a fated event that's getting ready to take place. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.